Hi everyone and welcome to this week's EBC video. We're in Burnsville at this parking lot with all of these cars that are overflow from a dealership where they don't have enough room to store them while they're waiting to be sold. And we're here thinking about Mark 10 versus 35 to 45. And I know what you're wondering today. You're wondering why are we standing in a parking lot with a bunch of cars that aren't up at the dealership thinking about the Bible? Well, I want to think about it in this perspective. Think about your typical dealership, all right? What are the most important cars at the dealership? They're the ones in the showroom, right? They're right inside the building. They're there for everyone to see. They've been made as shiny as possible. When you come in looking for a car, that's what you see. And if you're the person who gets to buy that car in the showroom, you're feeling great about it too, right? And then you've got a lot of other cars that are right around the building and some of them are sort of parked where everyone can see them and that's what's drawing you in. They're kind of the most important cars. And then there's more cars around uh, so you gotta walk a little bit to see them and you're sort of looking for those. And then you get this parking lot with these cars that are sort of like, well, just leave them over there and if we need them, we'll get around to going again. That's a little bit like the way people in ancient Jewish times were thinking about who was important. The people closest to, physically closest to the king were the most important people. And in fact, we even have some of that still in our everyday lives because if you go to a wedding, you're hoping to get sat as close to the wedding party as possible. That tends to mean well, you're maybe more important than some of the other people at the wedding, right? So now we get to Mark 10. And in the verses that we're looking at, James and John decide that they're going to ask Jesus a very ostentatious question. They're going to, look, Jesus, we want you to give us whatever we ask for. Jesus sensibly says, well, what is it you want? And James and John say, well, we want to be set at the right and left hands when we get to heaven with you, right? As close as possible. Think of it that way. And Jesus says a couple of things. First of all, he says, well, are you going to drink from the same cup I'm going to? Are you going to be baptized as I've been baptized? Right? The message really is that he's been telling the disciples at this point, and indeed, even in this story, just before these verses, he's been telling the disciples that he's going to wind up uh, giving up his life on the cross. Uh, not in so many words yet, but obviously James and John don't get it. But they do say very bravely, yes, we'll drink from the same cup that you drink from. Well, then Jesus also says, look, it's not my place to give away uh, what you're asking for. But the ten other disciples hear this request, and now the argument breaks out. Wait, wait, wait. Why would they be the most important? James and John aren't necessarily, but maybe I'm the most important, right? And Jesus, obviously at this point, is, it's clear the disciples aren't getting it. And I just want to say for a moment, this is pretty late in Jesus' ministry. In Mark, by the time we get to Mark 11, Jesus is already entering Jerusalem. So in Mark 10, a lot of the stories have already happened about who Jesus is and what he's doing. So. But Jesus pauses everyone to say, look, in the, in the Gentiles world, in the everyday world, you know that you're important because you're a leader and then a leader sort of stands up over everybody and sets himself or herself apart. But what Jesus is asking is something else. And he says, look, for you, those who want to lead need to be servants. And those who would be the greatest of all need to be a slave to all. And this really is a big part of the message of Jesus' view of leadership. Is don't pretend that leadership means setting yourself above everyone else. Leadership is about doing things for other people. And that's a message we can take to our everyday lives all the time. That if Jesus is asking us to be leaders, what he is asking us to do is find the ways to be servants to everyone. He's not asking us to go be shiny in a showroom. He's asking us to find everyday people where they are 
and do great things for them. So everyone, have a great week and go be servants.